For the very first time in the history of mankind, Google has managed to beat OpenAI's flagship model. I don't think this has ever happened and we have witnessed that moment. I'm not sure does it mean there is a wall or there is no wall, but at least for today, Google has hit the top of the leaderboard on LMS's chatbot arena. So we're going to learn about this model and we're going to see why this model is good. And we're going to do a very brief test and how you can access this model. The model doesn't have a name yet. It's a very weird thing. It's just called Gemini yet. It's not like Gemini 1.5, Gemini. It doesn't have a version. It's just Gemini at this point. So we're going to learn about this model. But what is surprising is Google CEO Sundar Pichai has actually tweeted a QT quote tweeted Logan, who is a very popular developer relations, a product lead in this particular case. So he said, Gemini EXP 1114 is pretty good. And that is actually a QT of LMS's Arena's tweet. Now, if you see this particular message, you would know that for the very first time, this model has hit number one on overall leaderboard. It has hit very first, the top position on math leaderboard, first on hard prompts. L uh, to be honest, hard prompts are really hard. It's not like very easy thing. That is literally why it's called hard prompt on LMS's Arena. And that's number one. On creative writing, number one. On vision, this is not just a simple large language model, but it is also a vision language model. I'm not sure if there are more modalities there, but for now, for vision, it is number one. For coding, it is number three. And style control, it is number four. So this is the new model from Google DeepMind and um, the confidence interval, if you go see here, the confidence interval of the rating is a bit higher because it has got lesser number of votes. I think over a period of time, the confidence interval will go down. For those who do not know confidence interval, uh, lesser the confidence interval, you can be more confident on the uh, model's uh, score, whatever the ELO score here is. But this is an excellent model. So there are only three models on math that can do this particular job. O1 Preview, Gemini XP1114 and O1 Mini. So this making me wonder if there is some kind of a test time scaling or test time compute that is happening. This has been the trend we recently saw about Hermes Reasoning Forge or Hermes Forge Reasoning API. And uh, we do not know what is being cooked under this model, but for now, we know that there is a model, there is an endpoint. We don't even know whether this is a single model. Maybe there is a there is a bunch of models. What we know is there is this new entity, new model from Google DeepMind, and that is like the number one on a lot of different benchmarks, including for the very first time at the top of LMSYS leaderboard. You can you can go witness it yourself. You can go to LMSYS Arena, and uh, that will I think take you to lmarena.ai. And once you go there, you can start chatting with this model. That's the easiest option. If you want to compare this model's response with some other model, very simple, very straightforward. But let's say you don't want to do that. Like you're not here for battle. You're not watching gladiator. So you're not entertained or you don't want to be entertained. Then what you can do is you can go to Google AI studio. The model is already available. I think if there is one thing that I should appreciate Google for, it's not a waitlisted model. The model is like literally, they made the announcement and the model is already available for you to use it, which is something that not a lot of people, comp not a lot of companies do these days. The model is available. The only catch here is that the model is come with 32,000 token window. I mean, if it is open AI, I can understand. I mean, Google is a company literally with 1 billion, oh sorry, 1 million token, 2 million token. Let me show you a model with 2 million, okay? There's a 1 million token model, there's a 2 million token model, and now Google has launched an experiment 1114, which is 32,000, not sure, but I asked Logan, Logan said it will be updated, so I don't know if the value would be updated or the co context window is going to be updated. The fact that the context window of this model is less makes me again wonder if there is any kind of text, uh, test time scaling happening, like if there is any kind of code interpreter or something that is happening at the test time, like inference time, maybe that's why they want a lesser context window to not have enough latency. Speculations, just pure speculations. So this is the model. Like I said, you can go here and play with uh, LMSS Aina. You can just um, see if you're going to be lucky enough to get the model or you can go to the battle and then select the Google model. Seems like this is the model that is available right now by default. And then you can go select 
any other model that you want and then you can start chatting with that if you want to do comparison but I, i'm not here to do comparison so i'm going to just go start asking very simple basic question at this point i think the one of the most boring question that everybody asks is something that i also want to ask right uh joke oh sorry this is a freudian slip i was planning to ask the r and strawberry but you know i think deep down in my subconscious i've always got uh, this question about elon musk okay so let's send this write a joke about elon musk and um, it's thinking a lot it's it took 5 seconds now what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, go do the same thing like uh, let me uh, copy this okay i'm going to paste it and as you can see here uh, in in this particular case i know it took uh, me 5 seconds right i'm going to just say the same thing but i'm going to go say this to gemini 1.5 pro o2 this is a model that takes 2 million context window i'm going to ask the same question i want to see the time it takes run the model write a joke about so you can see that there is a huge time difference for a model that takes lesser context it is four times four times um for a simple question maybe it's a one off thing let's go ask some other question why did elon musk bring a ladder to twitter head headquarters because he heard they were trying to raise a bar <laughs> this one why did elon musk cross the road to get to more mars obviously it's, it's a lame joke okay maybe i should say um write a joke about not no nothing serious um elon musk same question i want to see if there is any cash happening okay like literally the same question but i think i i kind of messed up the upper case lower case once again it uh, why did elon musk break up with his girlfriend artificial intelligence she kept finishing his sentences with code what a lame joke i don't know maybe i didn't understand the joke once again it took 4 seconds i'm going to go back here um ask in the new way which is with the upper case and uh, run this and once again it takes 1.2 seconds so there is something like in my speculation there is something that is happening in the test time could be test time um, scaling compute where they have a code interpreter or something okay so let's go ahead and ask a math question okay or uh, in fact like i want to ask the vision question apple count i'm going to go ahead and um, usually i like to pick apples this picture i cannot see okay usually i like to pick a picture where they, we have got like five apples with the wrapper here so 1 2 3 4 5 okay i'm going to copy this come back here and paste it how many are there okay just the image and just the pic- oh my image didn't go through okay it went through i'm going to ask the same thing paste it how many are there i'm not even saying it apple because i don't want them to treat it as like a clue so the new model the 1114 i don't know how to call this model it took me 6 6 seconds to say there are five apples in the image 1 2 3 4 5 okay cool now this one took 4 seconds this one took 6 seconds this one took 4 seconds and then said there are uh, three green apple and two red honestly i like this response more you could be different but i like this response more which is not the latest model cool now let's go ahead and then ask a different question like a math question okay the number of a uh, sorry b in banana bs in bananas bananas okay i just want to see if it can understand the number of b's in bananas so instead of saying just b i want to test it okay i've asked this question uh, i want to see how many times how much a second it takes i think the average response is around like 4 to 5 seconds and uh, the older model the word banana has zero b in it it has zero serious you th- this this is the number one model like the topper and it it is winking at me i mean why bro you you didn't answer it correctly i don't know why are you winking okay go back to this there is one b in the word bananas Once again Gemini 1.5 Pro O02 has given me the answer that I wanted. Lesser time. This took more time. Uh, at least like 2 seconds more and then gave me wrong answer. Why it is saying that there is one capital B and then it is winking at me. Cool. 
I'm going to ask the final question before we wind up this video. Okay. Can you help me write a bar chart using um, Python? But instead of giving a Python library name, I'm going to give an R library name gg uh, plot 2. Okay. So let's see. Can you help me write a bar chart using Python gg plot 2? Let's see. Uh, it's thinking a lot. Okay. It's clarifying. It's not a Python library and the equivalent of ggplot in Python is plot line. So it does a pretty good job. So I'm going to go ask the same question. I think I can't trick it. So run this. Same question. Here it took me. It's still writing. Okay. I think the latency is a thing. I don't know if that is the reason they've got like a 32,000 context window. It took 30 seconds to answer this question. And uh, in this case, it took 16 seconds to two times more time that it takes to answer, which again makes me speculate that there is something happening at the test time. Anyways, I would uh, want to ex um, explore this model further. This just like got released a few hours back. I wanted to cover this. Let me know what you feel about from the responses that you have got. But I still love the Gemini 1.5 Pro in the Gemini family of models. Uh, I think it would take me some time to understand what is the thing that makes this model really good. And it could be something that I've not uh, managed to test it yet. But from my basic test, this model takes a lot more time. Could be the fact that this model has got something going behind it during the inference time. But otherwise, I'm happy to see Google is innovating. Maybe there is no wall. See you in another video. Happy prompting.